I see um, Sijun says, Hi K, we will ever enter the trade just before the breakout, which will confirm both lower and higher time frame, or you always wait for the confirmation before looking for entry chance. Um, I trade before the breakout, yes, I do. As long as get uh, valid confirmations, I enter trace before the breakout so that once it breaks, it goes fast. If I see more buyers and sellers in the market, then I enter trade before the breakout of the resistance. If I see more sellers and buyers in the market, then I take sell before the breakout of the support level. So that is my strategy. Uh, before I used to wait for the breakout, and then after the breakout, Usually there's new new resistance, new supports, and uh, I couldn't really tell until when to break, when to wait. For example, in this case, there is a resistance here at 1.1746, but also there is another minor resistance here too, which is 1.1906, and also technically here there was also uh, one candle resistance. 1.2140 uh, and then 1.2290 double top and after that there is another resistance here on uh, 1.2417 and then here too 1.2651 so if you if you keep waiting for the breakout then you won't have a chance to enter trade so at some point, you have to make a decision to enter trade before the breakout on one of these resistances. So in this case, I would wait for the resistance of the most recent, which is 1.1741. And once it breaks, you can enter buy. Or if you enter buy chance right now, I don't mind entering right now and keep holding to expect the market breaks the resistance. But one thing that is important in terms of risk management is near the resistance, uh, you want to set the break-even line so that once the market resisted and retraced, you don't lose in that way. So, and if you can't set the break-even line, because for example, if the resistance is too close, then um, I recommend you to stay away and wait for the breakout and buy afterwards. And then until the market reaches to the next resistance level, hopefully you set the break even to prepare for the retracement. Or simply you can exit also with some profits and simply leave chart. Yeah, so for now just let me delete these lines because it might confuse the future members. Yeah, so for now, again, Kumo breakout is happening and wait for the resistance breakout 1.1741 resistance and two supports breakout and target to 1.2309 around, yeah, at around, that, around that level, around 1.2223 level is the target. I hope you enjoyed today's video and in last word I would like to add this one before ending the video today and that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow because oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible and that motivation is okay but uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step by step. So, when you're losing, then look back your trace and look for the areas you can improve your trace. And even if you're successful, also look back your own successful trace 
and uh, try to find an area to improve your trades. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early, or your break-even timing might be a, too, a bit too early too, or your stop loss was a bit too tight also. So in both ways, whether it's a losing trades or winning trades, uh, please look back your own trades because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.